Hi and welcome to the second video on our randomized block design. So here is the scenario. We have um, a region of land, okay, and here's another region of land, and this is the same region, but I have two different schemes. So in this region of land, on the bottom here, we have a body of water, okay? This is a body of water here. And I have two block schemes, okay? So here, the bottom section here, all this section along the water is one block, and the section away from the water is a block. And here, in this section, the left part of the region is considered a block, and the right side of the region is considered a block, okay? And here's the problem. We have two types of trees, A and B, are planted in each Two types of trees, A and B, are planted in each block. Okay? So for each block, we're going to get some A's and some B's in here. One type per plot. So that means there's, this could only be an A or a B for all these different plots. And we're going to have three A's and three B's per block. And we're going to compare the tree growth. So that means that we're going we're gonna to randomly assign randomly assign A or B to each plot okay to each plot but but the thing is let's say this gets A A and A then you could stop because this has to be B B and B so you're gonna randomize to each block separately so this might be A B A B A B okay so hopefully you understand that because if I randomly, this kind of gets around the, the 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 problem where I guess I put that thing there a little early. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay, A or B. So the same thing here. This could be A, 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 B, 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 A, B, A, B, A, B. So you're going to randomly assign three and three into each block. Okay, so what scheme is better? What scheme is better? So if we go back to what a block is, a block is where we have similar, when we have similar units. Okay, similar units, okay, not associated, associated with the factors factors or response okay so here the factors are the both the trees okay I have a tree A and a tree B okay that should be either tree A they think tree A is going to grow more or tree B is going to grow more okay and the response is how much they grow okay so what we want similar is the things that may affect the growth okay that aren't associated with the trees okay so what scheme do you think go ahead and take a guess which which of these regions let me uh, let me do this which one of these regions are more similar amongst each other amongst themselves I don't want to go that big Okay, so this would be block one. And this here is block two. I don't want to pick that same color as that. This is block two. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. I have this as a block and I have this as a block. The scheme that's going to be the best is the one that's the most similar amongst each other when you're looking like when you if you're here and you look over 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 here are those similar or if you're out here away from the water everybody in my block if you're in a block, 
the person next to you should be the same as you. Okay? So that's scheme one. This is scheme two. So does this person look like this person? Does this and then here what I'm thinking about is conditions. Here it's conditions. It's the conditions. Okay, did y'all come up with a guess yet? Okay, a lot of people um, pick the wrong one. A lot of people pick this one, but this is wrong. This is the correct choice. Okay, and then and then the reason why is because if you look at this bottom block, if you look at block two. Okay, everybody's similar to each other. Everybody in this block is next to who? Is next to the water. Okay? Is next to the water. And and I'll and I'll give you a quick counter example of why this could be bad. For example, if if I go ahead and randomly assign A or A or B into each one of these. Like so I flip a coin. Okay, this is what I'll do. I'll flip a coin, a fair coin. And if it's heads, I'll put A, okay, and if it's tails, I'll put B, okay. So I flip the first one, and I get heads. I flip the second one, and I get heads. I flip the third one, and I get heads. So by default, these three, since I'm in a block, these three have to go here. So now, okay, so, so what happens is I... I I let these things grow for six months, and at the end I measure, and the average A grew, the, the tree for A grew, um, let's say, 15 inches, and the average growth for the 3B was 5 inches. So then I turn around and I say, well, you know, I work for the company with tree A, and I say, that's good. My tree grew more than your tree. So B is bad. So you happen to work for B, and you turn around and say, well, wait a second. Um, you had a little bit of an unfair advantage because look at all of your A's were next to the water. So maybe, okay, maybe it wasn't your tree at all. And it happened to be this factor over here, the water. The water affected your growth. Okay, so so now I'll look at it and, and let's just uh, do the flip the coin thing and I'll say A, B, B, A, A, B. Okay, so same thing with up here. Okay, so here I'm, t I'm looking at this block two. I'm in block two. I'm in block two and I get an X bar of A of... It grew 15 inches, and I get an X bar B of 5 inches. Now, I work for A, and I say, my tree was better than your tree. We're going to assume all the other factors are the same, or all, you know, sunlight and all that. And then B didn't grow so so much. So, so if you work for B, and you turn around and say, well, wait a second, you, you were next to the water here, you were next to the water here, and you were next to the water here. And then I turn around and I say, well, you know, you were next to the water just like I was next to the water. Okay, so you're comparing everybody amongst the same conditions. That's the, that's the most important part with blocks. Okay, everybody in a block is in the same conditions. Okay, there's so many problems that you're going to come across that they kind of throw at you that are very doable if you have this idea that blocks are similar units, similar conditions, okay? Similar side of the room, um, stuff like that. So that's it for this, um, for this example. Hopefully you see it. If not, make sure that, you know, you contact me or um, you spend some time. Thanks for watching.